Hello friends. So in today's tutorial, we are going to create a basic navigation component using React.js, React Router, and Bootstrap. So the things you are going to learn in today's tutorial are how to use a header component in a website and how to navigate between different pages in React.js. So let's begin. Now the first thing that we need to do is create a new React app. So I'm just going to minimize myself and continue. So go to your terminal and run the command npx react create react app and whatever the project name you want to add. After creation of the project, you will have a folder ready. You can run the command code dot dot to open Visual Studio in that folder. And after that, you can run yarn start. So yarn start is basically to start a React project locally in your browser. So it will take some time to start and by then we should look into the code structure. Now a basic React project usually contains a public and SRC folder. In public folder, we have the index file which contains the source code for DOM. And in the SRC folder, we write the files which are required for updating the DOM elements using React. Now the first thing that we need to do is update the title. So let's say navigation header component. That's it. Now the next thing that we need to do is we can add Bootstrap into our project at this stage. So let's go to Bootstrap official docs and as usual we are going to copy the css from here it is in getting started section and paste it in our head tag below the link which is already present here so here we paste our link tag and then control shift i to auto indent the link tag that finishes adding the CSS files. The second thing that we need to do is add our JavaScript files into our folder. So we can add JavaScript files just before the ending of the body tag. Again, Control Shift I to auto indent the scripts. That ends our index in JS file creation. Now we can start into the actual coding part. Now coming back to our project we have an uh, app.js file which is shown here so let's go into the app.js now as you can see we need to edit our app.js accordingly now the first thing that we need to do is add a header within our application which is a proper navbar so let's go to bootstrap folder and search for the components and go to navbar and within the navbar we will find all the nav components so basically i need a navbar component with some sections like home features yeah, this would work so i'm just going to copy this code and paste it here replacing the header part and control shift i again to auto indent and let's see what happens to our page now we have a navbar let's give it a color theme which is not light so we might have a primary theme yes so bg primary let's copy this css and instead of navbar light bg light we will go for navbar dark bg primary and yeah blue color works for me now i'm going to remove the disabled link because we just need uh, i guess two features might be good enough let's say we have a features page and a pricing page now i'm clicking on features and pricing we need to go somewhere so for that let's create some basic pages 
So within the SRC folder, create a new folder and we can call it components, not component tab, and just rename it to components. And let's say we have a features.js, which is going to be our features page. And we have a pricing.js, which is your pricing page. Sample pricing page, obviously, I won't be able to go the entire pricing page in just a short time. So we need to import React from React, then define a function features functions are really defined in such a manner then return a div tag and within div i guess h1 with features will do for now and we need to export it this function so why export because we will use make use of this function in some other file and export default is a keyword which allows us to export functions so that they can be imported in other files. So export default features. Similarly, we are going to pricing page and is the same code. And we have a pricing. We will have pricing here and then we name features to pricing and export default to pricing again. So we have two pages with which we can play around. So just to see that the page is visible properly, let's just import our features page here. So import features, which is will be the name of the component from, here we need to add the address of the file from where we need to import it. So slash components slash features. Now, we will add this features component just below the navbar. Now, if this code seems, seems too long, you can press the down arrow here so that it minifies itself. This is a useful feature to handle longer files or large files. And here we will add our features component like this. So in React, we can define components as tags so that they are imported and let's see. So yeah, we have features here. Now I guess we can also have a home components so that we can show that this is a home page. And then copy all the code from features and paste it here. And let's say this is our home page. Uh, Okay, and now we need to navigate between these pages. So what we are going to do is we are going to take help of React Router. So let's go to React Router official documentation. Now in the quick start guide, as you can see, we have some code written here. So I am just going to import it first and then I will go through one by one. So first thing that we need to do is import our necessary components for React Router to work. From this, I think I am not going to need, yeah, I'm going to need all of them. Next, switch code. Just bear with me it's before, if this doesn't make any sense, I'm just going to cover them soon. Okay. Now before proceeding forward, I am just going to tell you all what is what. So switch is a parent level component which specifies that React Router is being used. And these are the components within which a user can switch in between. A route component essentially tells the React Router what path to serve that component on. So let's say uh, in Navbar, if I want to serve something on features path that is features page on features path i will have to explicitly tell react router that this is my path on which the features component will get served which is defined here secondly we imported browser router 
so browser router is a top level component which helps in initializing the router path so as you can see this is the top level uh, com inbuilt component which needs to be added at the top without which react router won't work so that is the boilerplate code which is essential for react router to run properly now you can implement your own routing mechanism if you wish but trying to implement something from scratch which has already been implemented is a bus scale. so essentially we make use of react router and for making use of react router we write some boilerplate code like this so that we can use the features of react router now the second page that we need to import is the pricing page so import pricing from component slash pricing and the third is home component components slash oh my energy goes down when music doesn't place in the background i just like music writing the background to focus okay coming back to the code we will define our path as pricing and we will make use of pricing here so that pricing gets served on pricing part and in case of home we have a slash now there's a inbuilt param called exact which is used to make sure that the component is served for home properly so we are going to specify it here with exact is equal to true and i guess that was my mom in the background if you were able to hear the voice okay now that's done now let's just test that react router is working properly by going to features okay home is not defined on okay home dot yes oops a typo and resolve that return obviously because i did not install it yeah and i wrote the entire code genius okay so we are going to run yarn add react router dom i hope that's the correct setup yeah react router dom i'm using yarn package manager you can also use npm yarn is new that's all i know about it okay we have a react router dom installed and yes features page is working on features path pricing page is working on pricing path and home home is not working on home path Hmm. Okay, we will look into it later. Hmm. Okay, there might be something else for exact. We will check it out later. Now, the second thing that we need to do is I am just going to close this terminal and get sent away. That is why I don't have it here and use the external terminal usually. Is make use of the link. Why? Because on clicking of this form, pricing, blah blah blah, we don't have a change of route here because of which we don't navigate to other pages. So, what we are going to essentially do is go into the navbar and instead of ahref or li class, we are going to replace it with a link tag. Link is a inbuilt React router syntax for adding links to the page like this so let's say for features instead of a class nav link i add link to slash features and close this link essentially it's a replacement of href tag for react router to work properly and now okay i should have a div with class 
name of the each hashtag so that it is visible at least i think text slide should work if it doesn't work okay it doesn't work let us go back to navbar it was nav link so let's copy paste it here and hopefully this will work let's hope yeah it works and yeah on features we have a change of path on clicking of features so let's just see if changing this to a okay yeah this is good enough you can give a you can give the that's up to you now let's copy this and paste it here or home replace this features text with home and link with slash and remove the li code again go for control shift i and last but not the least I think I remove something essential. Yeah. I like class. Hmm. I remove the I like tag also. My bad. Okay. Last but not the least, let's repeat the same process with pricing page. Replace this with pricing and slash with pricing, and hopefully home will run on home, features will run on features, and pricing will run on pricing. So we have a proper working page. Yes, there is some issue with the style sheet, but that's okay. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope it was useful. And. that's it for today thank you have a nice day and you can subscribe to my channel for more such videos in future bye